Hello friends, this is Samuel once again from Sony Tech and welcome to part 17 of our React Native Beginner series which also doubles up as the second video of our maps tutorial. Alright, so in this very one I'll be working you through how to add markets inside of your app and also I'll be working you through how to get the user's location using the marker we add inside of our app. I know this sounds interesting already, be sure to subscribe if you haven't, please like this video, please share and comment so I know your top. Okay, let's jump right in. So to add a marker inside of your app, um, we'd have to import marker from React Native. So now let's import marker from React Native. And let's change this from a self-closing tag to a normal tag. Instead of this map view, we'll go ahead and import our marker. And the marker is a self-closing tag. Okay, so we see that the marker has set certain props. So we're going to just go ahead with the coordinate props and just pass in map region right so i'm going to go ahead and add a button um such that when we press on that button it takes us to our location or it pinpoints the user's location or it sets the marker to that location right so now let's save this for now and see if the marker appears okay so we see the marker appears here so this is because of the coordinates we are passing right okay so let's go ahead and import or add a use effect so the use effect is going to mount or it's going to sh check to see if what's happening to my typing today and it's going to be with an empty dependency array and let's call this function which will be creating so let's call this function say use location right and up here we can define this function so use location user location and it's going to be an asynchronous function which is also going to be an arrow function. Okay. What's happening? All right. So I'm going to pop in some um, piece of code. So I'm going to go ahead and explain what I have. Right. But before I do so, I'm going to, you'd have to install Expo locations because you're using Expo and you're using React Native Maps. So let's go ahead and import um, star as location okay so let's do with the capital location what's happening from expo location right okay so great all right so i'm going to pop in this piece of code here and i'll be explaining so let's just change this to uh, just a regular console log and let me just comment this piece of code out as well. Alright, so there's few first few lines to so just check in to see if the user has allowed permissions for um locations to be used or his locations to be used. Once you're done with that, um this piece of code is supposed to check and give high accuracy with regards to um getting the exact or the precise location of the user. And once we are done with that, we set um the map region to this. So the latitude delta and longitude delta is just um, um, the values of the latitude delta and the longitude delta is just for zoom values right so it just helps to, with the accuracy of the maps right so great so i'm going to call this function um so this function is going to actually mount every time so let's go ahead and add the touchable opacity um with an icon so i'm going to also do that um so let's just add the touchable opacity from react native the touchable opacity which I'm not using any AI, so no GitHub Copilot, right? So you see, before I, I'm, I'm, I'm yet to add my code, we get this from Expo. So let's just go ahead and just accept this, right? So this is from this, all right? All right, so these are the changes I made in my project. So I went ahead and imported materials icon and added this icon such that when we press on this, so I don't know, press, so it calls this user location and always it does the check. So without you having to press, um, you can still fetch the user's location. So our marker isn't appearing now. Okay, so um, this uh, is just basic styling here. Okay, so let me show you something you can actually add here. So when I remove this thing now, so you can actually add this prop. So follow user location, you can set that to true. There are lots of props. So let me just get rid of this. And so with the map style, so we have lots and lots. So let, let, let me change this to set slides and save. Just give this some time. 
so you see the map style changes and there are lots and lots of things you can actually do with the map so let's just try um terrain okay so terrain still looks same okay so it's standard actually so let's test our code and see so when i go ahead and press on this let's see if it sets our user's location to that point and ideally it sets it to that point because i'm currently at liman which is close to noguchi and you can see noguchi here so let's add something interesting here so we can add the title of the map and we can set that to location you can actually print out your location so when i tap on the location icon it still tells me that it's my location um, I don't know if I can change the map style, but um, from Google Maps, I don't know if I can go to, I can go to Google Maps and show you, but I am currently at this point. So let's just change. Um, okay, let me just change this so we try another thing. So let's try hybrid flyover and let's see if so you can actually print out the description of your location dynamically. All right, guys. So basically, this is how to add a marker to your app. So a marker to track your current location. Right, for some reason, I don't know why the other descriptions of the other locations here aren't show, isn't showing, but this is how to add. So first and foremost, you write a function to check and accept permissions, and you now go ahead to set um, the current map region. Let me comment this out and see. Okay, so right click. So let's just try one more time. Okay, so let's just comment it out. I'll do the fix of this, and in the next video, I'll show you how to um, add a custom marker to your project. So where you change this to another type of marker, so it can be any icon at all, rather than the regular um, marker, which is this red one. So on iOS, the marker looks different. All right, so guys, thank you so much for watching this one. Be sure to subscribe. Please like this video and please share.